Hey teachers, welcome back to this tutorial series all about how to use Flipgrid to teach. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share your grid with your students. In a previous video, I showed you how to set up your grid. So if you've missed that, make sure to go back and watch that first because you need to be able to do that before you do this next step. Now I'm gonna show you how to share that grid you've created with your students so that way they can access the assignments that you post and post their responses. So let's jump on my computer. I'm gonna show you how it's done. In the last video, I showed you how to create this grid. Now I'm gonna show you how to share this grid with your students so that they can access it. There's a couple of ways that they can do it. The easiest way is if you click share, it is going to give you a link. And so you can just copy and paste this link wherever you communicate with your students, whether it's through email, Google Classroom, on a private Facebook page, however you're communicating with your students, you're gonna share this link with them. And when they click on the link, it is going to take them to a page that looks like this. Now I've set it up so that my students have to enter a password to access the grid. So it's gonna take them to this page where they put in the password and once they do that, they are now officially on my grid. And this is what it looks like from the student view. Now, another option that you can do is this is the code for this grid. So think of it like the code for this classroom. If you use Google Classroom, you need a code for your students to be able to access that classroom. This is the same thing. So I'm gonna copy and paste this code and you can share it with your students and if students just go to the flipgrid website so this is the home page for flipgrid.com and they just scroll down to where it says enter a flip code they can type it in they can type in the code or paste in the code and once again it's going to ask for the password and then it will take them to this page. So those are the two different ways that your students can access your Flipgrid. I hope you're finding that Flipgrid is not only a really fun teaching tool, but it's also really easy to use. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss out on any of the other videos in this series or any of the other videos that I release on my channel. Until next time, happy teaching.